How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Lootastic. Today is a special day. Today, March 27th, we got the official teaser trailer for Borderlands 3. That's right, the time has come. Finally, Gearbox released the teaser early this morning, and it's a doozy. It is a doozy. Probably one of my favorite trailers ever. It is just a teaser, so there's no gameplay or anything like that, but just the music, the art, and the way this trailer is delivered, it's just so cool and gets me so hyped, I've watched it like 30 times. It's finally time. Move over Destiny, move over Division, move over Anthem, the OG looter shooter that defined the genre is back. If this trailer doesn't give you chills, I don't know what will. I'm not going to go through this entire teaser step by step and point out every little detail because there is a ton, but if you go back and look, you'll find tons of familiar faces from the past Borderlands games like Brick, Mordecai, Ellie, Sir Hammerlock, Claptrap. I mean, you can't really have Borderlands without Claptrap, that's like having pancakes without syrup, but anyway. A character that many are speculating is Tiny Tina, but more grown up since this game takes place way after Borderlands 2. Familiar vehicles are shown, familiar enemies, but we also get a look at new characters, mainly the two at the top, who are more than likely going to be the main antagonists of the game because of how they are positioned at a place of power with a ton of guys basically bowing to them. We also get a look at what many believe to be the new Vault Hunters, the new characters we'll be able to play as. This teaser corresponds to the recent leaks that came to fruition a few weeks ago in regards to characters as well. This older looking chap very well could be the new assassin character. When the trailer zooms out, he can be seen up on a perch holding a sniper. This super dope looking character, who is rumored to be the Beast Master, who apparently can summon different creatures to his side for aid. He's also been seen a few times in the teaser, always surrounded by beasts of some kind. Then we have this character in the vehicle here who might be a siren? There's no real context clues here, so that's just pure speculation. And last we have definitely the soldier class, which also has a striking resemblance to the character that was seen during the Gearbox tech demo ages ago. Now that's all the detail I'll go into for now. Tomorrow on March 28th at 2pm Eastern, Gearbox will have their panel at PAX East, and we're sure to be getting more info on the next Borderlands. Probably a trailer and some information regarding the next title, although I hope we get to see some gameplay, but it might be far-fetched, I'm not sure. We'll have to wait and see. Once that stuff drops, I'll be going through all the loot news as soon as I can so you guys know all about the happenings surrounding Borderlands 3. I can't wait. You can't wait. It's not long now. As always, this video is brought to you by Lootastic, where you get all the legendary loot news and info free of charge, no grind or limbs required. Like the video for Keys to a Vault and subscribe if you think Jack is handsome. Until next time, happy looting.